All right, the horror forest. Let's take a trip. <coughs> Strolling through the forest. It's so horror-y. Well, that was pretty scary. Well, damn it. Yeah, I know the feel. Round two. All right. stuff is happening. I'm just not a part of it. I want to be a part of your scary feel. I'm pursuing it, but I'm not finding it. Whoa. Well, that was pretty scary. Where does that come from? Where does this, this sound effect come from? <laughs> scary stuff. But let's try to find the real scary stuff, guys. It's gotta be hidden somewhere in the forest. Well, I see a lot of trees. Hello? You ever uh, like sit down and try to play Doom without any, uh, you know, just like just just joining into a deathmatch map by yourself? It's kind of like this. Or this is kind of like that. Yeah. I know the fears are hiding somewhere. Let me try to see if I can find them. You scared? You wanna come out and scare me? Do it in self-defense. Where you at? Where am I? <clears throat> oh, here they come. Here they come. They're coming at me like a stampede. The fears. And like that, they were gone. I gotta be reaching the end of this map sometime, right? I think this is also a pre-alpha, so take it out. Be gentle. Okay, am I just, am I doing the wrong thing? Do I need to do something else to trigger these things?
It's an owl, and then it killed me. Well, that was enjoyable. I like, I just, I don't know. The, the thing I don't like about this style of game is like, it just, I think you can make something more intimidating if you give somebody an objective to do. Like with this, the slender, man, you have to grab all the things. That's what makes everything so much more intimidating is you can't really just sort of play to hiding out. You have to put yourself in jeopardy, and you know that it knows, or at least the AI can conform to you seeking out these objectives. So it puts you into a position of being out of a comfort zone to try to get into an area of that you don't know the shape of it. You don't know how to get in and out of it. So it just strikes me that you know if you give somebody a task, you can always build fear around it because you know that they're going to be single-minded in getting that done as soon as possible, lowering their barriers to, and, and really kind of. You know, they have tunnel vision. Like, they see that the little picture on, the, like, the tree or something, and they're not paying attention to things in their field of view. So you could then have the Slender Man come out of nowhere and attack them or whatever. So, you know, you get them to lower their barriers of comfort when you have them try to complete a particular task. I think that's what makes Resident Evil so effective, was that, you know, you have to keep, really have to keep moving. You can't just sort of, you know, wade things out or try to overwhelm things and with bullets and you can't just simply go from room to room to room and just survive and this is kind of thing like it just sort of happens to you and you're not really involved so i don't know take what i'm saying with a grain of salt you know look at this i'm not really sure what the plan for this is so keep an eye out